Welcome back everyone to Chocobo Place, it's Alan V, and before I get into this, I just want to say politely to the Disney lawyers who tried to claim copyright on part one, eat a dick. <laughs> First off, Capcom made these games, and if you're going to claim the stupid Disney afternoon jingle, which I conveniently didn't play this time, it's a digitized version. It's basically a MIDI for... If you want to just be really basic, yeah, it's a different codec, so don't get on me on that, but... No! And fair use! So that's gonna be the one and only time I'm ever gonna bring that up. I just thought it was hilarious that I got hit with copyright from that. Uh, now, I know I failed miserably the first episode, but I did actually beat this game last night. So I've been practicing, but now I'm recording, so let's see what happens. And if you notice on screen, there's the little rewind button. I will use that from time to time, so I don't have to start things over. So, if you can't handle that, I'm sorry. But we're going to go back to Transylvania, because I remember where the extra health piece is here. And I'll be visiting this stage repeatedly. Why give me that when I'm, like, at the beginning of the level, there's no enemies? Yeah, okay, Webby, get out of my way. It's like a hurricane here. Nope, you can't go that way. Okay. Can I go now? I oh, really don't want to let me go. As you can see, I just rewound. And if you're wondering why I don't jump on the ghost, you can't. At least, like, the five times I tried, it didn't work, so there may be a way you can do that. I don't know. There's somewhere I want to go, though, because there's an illusionary wall that gives me an extra piece of health. You can get up to, my knowledge, at least five heart, uh, hit points. Heart points, whatever you want to call them. Because that's what I did the last time I was playing. And I'm not going to cheese it every time. There are points where I'm better off dying, so I'm going to let myself die. If you didn't catch it last night, I thought the stream went pretty well over on the uh, Twitch. Over here is where the extra health piece is. And I accidentally found hidden treasure in the moon base level. I don't know if there's hidden treasure in every level, because again, I'm just playing this, I'm not the completionist. Okay, if I hit it again, I'm not gonna... Okay. I'm not gonna cheese it the whole time. Beautiful Saturday morning. Don't mind my phone. <laughs> Gotta love that. I'll be right back, folks. Alright, I'm back. Apologize for that. I got a text from one of my neighbors needing our maintenance guy's phone number. Hopefully I was smart enough to edit that whole sequence out there for you. Now there's a trick to when the ghost comes. And sometimes this game just screws with you. The ghost will occasionally appear high enough to where you can duck under him. Other times you kind of got to walk off screen. And there's a trick with Bird Bitch here. You kind of have to stay close to her and jump behind her. See, I screwed up there. Yes, I cheesed it. Deal with it. Okay, why am I screwing up this bad? There we go. You have to hit her, I think, five times. You can bounce on her when she's lower, but I forgot. <laughs> there we go. Once you kind of get her pattern down, I can't get her from there. She's not that bad. Sorry, I don't mind if I genuinely screw up. I'm not taking a cheap hit. Here we go! Something I didn't do at all in the first episode. I beat a level. <laughs> I'm not going to cheese every level. 
I want to do this one first. Technically, if, if you're going to play this the first time, I would recommend doing the Himalayan level first. That one's kind of easier overall. I'm going to go do the Amazon next. But, uh, you know, as I tell you what level to do because it's easier, but I don't do it. I don't want to do the Himalayan yet because there's a lot of backtracking because I can get an extra hit point in that, but I can't get out of the area, so I have to fly back to Duckburg, as the game says. I essentially fly back to the menu screen. Yeah, and this game came out in 1989, according to the Disney Afternoon Collection here. This was a fun game as a kid. That's why I was frustrated the other day when I was doing the, the uh, play. I've beaten this game before, so I'm like, I know I can do it. And I did it again last night. And here's why you come down here. Jumping through the screen. And I'm going to go one screen over, too, because there's more treasure. Now, you're wondering, if this game is not the one that has the required hidden treasures to get the proper ending. That's DuckTales 2. Uh, this one, though, you need a certain amount of gold uh, for a certain part in the game. Although, I cheesed it last night because I was not going to go collect the extra gold uh, dollars. Duck dollars, whatever they call it in the DuckTales. Uh, basically, you need like 300 million or something like that. Why am I doing it this way up here? Down my way. I'm kind of forced to take a hit there, but you get health back. Then there's this able. Aha. I believe this just takes me up here. But I would not be a proper Scrooge McDuck if I didn't try to grab it. Yeah, I just cheesed it. Ah, I can't get it. Okay. Actually, yes, I can. You think with a swing like that, this dude would be a PGA or Deep Duck Golf Association? I won't do duck pugs the whole time. Okay, I can't be the only one while seeing the bees fly across that is not getting uh, Nichols Cage, not the bees, not they're in my eyes and running through his head as he's playing this or her head. I always have a hard time in this particular section with avoiding the bees. I've watched YouTubers, uh, like right there. I don't know why I'm cheesing it, because I can beat this boss with relative ease. And I didn't time that right. You're supposed to jump down before... Really, game? Before, uh... Yay, I made it through it! I have to cheese that once! Uh, well, oh, yeah, up ahead here is where you're supposed to have the gold. But I found a trick to getting up. Now what's annoying is launch pad is there, but... Uh, no. Oh, I can't get around him. I found this completely by accident last night. No. Oh, and... There's ice cream cones which give you back one health, and then the, the bunt cake, whatever that's supposed to be gives you back all your health. This area sucks, by the way. I imagine a little eight-year-old me would be flipping out playing this. I'm, I'll take it. I don't care. I'm gonna be cheesing in a little bit, because I don't want to deal with the uh, lift again. Now, you can go as far back as you want, almost, with the exception of if you die, it only you can only re uh, rewind back to where you respawn. I honestly think it's a cool function. See, like, he's gonna come up now. Hey. Sorry, three million. I had it. For some reason, last night when I was playing, that wouldn't spawn. 
And there's a kid. I feel like this level was the one they originally were intending for players to go through first based on the description on how to beat a boss. Here's where it sucks. Now, I should be cheesing that, to be honest, but... You notice this game is a lot of cheese. Got him. He has a point where he's invulnerable, which sucks. There we go. Alright, so we beat the first two levels. Um, I'm going to call it for this part, and when we come back for the next part, we will tackle the next couple levels here. I'm going to do the Himalayans, and then we're going to go ahead and do... I always do the moon base last. So we did Transylvania and the Amazon. So when I come back, we're going to do the Himalayans and the African Mines. So stay tuned for part three, everybody. This is Alan B. with Chocobo Chokeslam. Thank you for watching.